Did you just hear me burp? <laughs> well, I'm not sorry for that at all. Because that's the same thing that you will be doing once you enroll and complete the fellowship in dental genetics and clinical research. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Well, I welcome all of you in this live orientation program on fellowship in dental genetics and clinical research. Today, let me open up the secret principle behind this course. And I have never done this before. This is a unique course which will follow the learning process as a four step verb model. So here is the four step verb model for learning implementation inside fellowship in dental genetics course. What is verb? B for building the basic concepts of critical science in a simplified manner. U is ultimate learning how to integrate the concepts towards practical implementation. R reciprocate the concepts through course projects and P providing insights to career opportunities that can be grabbed with the knowledge gained. Hence, I mentioned 100% satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> so, can I give you a short tour through the program? May I get some yeses in the chat box? Okay, cool. Let's move ahead then. Thank you for your permission. No, wait. Let's stop for a moment. Let me first share a short analysis for this fellowship program that we did a couple of months ago. Some, and some of your questions inside the form, registration form intrigued me and I thought I must share it with you here today. Well, if you are new to the term SORT, let me tell you what SORT stands for and why do we do it. SORT analysis is basically like this. S stands for strength. So it's basically the strong points of a program or project that you are going to do. W is for weakness. That is the situations which has weaknesses and there are scope of improvements opportunity, the scope to transition the weaknesses into strengths, and T is threat, that is the chance to understand the feasibility or the success or the failure of the project. Well, though as a team here at our end, we know that this course is foolproof and it's a wholesome meal to anybody who is will be taking it. Still, we prefer to schedule our own course post-mortem. You know why did we do sort analysis? Let me tell you. We did this sort analysis for the fellowship program because our aim is to be brutally honest. Brutally honest and to help you to obtain maximum ROI in terms of time, money and energy that you will be investing when you are inside the course. Okay, so here's is the sort for our fellowship program. There are many strengths, let's start with that, but we just listed four of them. So the first strength of this course is flexibility to learn or flexibility to study because it's a 100% online course, so you can study it from any part of the world. Number two is global acceptance with the certification. This course is accredited by the American Council of Training and Development, SETD, USA. So it is globally accepted, the certificate that you will be getting. Number three, we will be following a, learn, a hybrid learning format. So basically, you will have self-paced learning videos and live interaction sessions as well. So. Don't worry, you, you are not left alone inside the black box of that one small video. 
coming to weaknesses? Well, there are none. For the sake of argument, we have put up six and not four. Okay. Now, when I talk about weaknesses, I'll be basically moving on the other side of the chair where I am when I am reiterating these situations of weaknesses. That is, I will be now on your side and I will see through your eyes. Let's take this weakness, the situation where we can improve. Let's see whether we can or not. Number one could be you know that when it comes to practical learning that the techniques and tools we'll be talking about here inside the course that will be taught to you um you might think that wouldn't this course be you know like missing hands-on experience since uh, it is a hundred percent online program here is a video clip for adding buffer to a gel electrophoresis tank used for dna analysis can you follow it? I'm sure you can. It is so simple, isn't it? So this is how we will be giving you a virtual lab tour inside the course for the principles of techniques that we will be sharing in the module topics. Moreover, we have live activity sessions which are innovatively curated to give you a hands-on experience virtually. In fact, Nothing is theory inside this fellowship program. It's all about showing you practical implementation. Well, now, just tell me one thing or just think, you know, until and unless you really get your hands dirty, sit hours and months together in a laboratory, make mistakes and learn. Every hands-on program in learning molecular techniques is equal to an observership isn't it so the idea is why not get the basics clear at the first place and that too at the ease of your home spending less and gaining more the second weakness could be time management because the hours of study that needs to be invested for six months long course and it might be difficult while doing this course along with my re re regular schedule. Now, this program is open to any enthusiast from dentistry, life sciences, and healthcare from all career levels. So we have designed the program in a way that it suits to everybody's schedule. Well, time management to accommodate multiple aspects, that parts of life, that's part of life anyways. What's it? So here is the solution. You will need to spend four hours in self-paced learning and one live session of two hours per month per module. The duration of live session might extend depending on the number of doubts that needs to be answered. I mean, we are always eager to answer your queries at best of our capabilities. Let's move and see the third weakness. This might be another situation or a, a, a thing that is going on in your mind. Well, I am a practicing clinician. Looks like it's all about research. The knowledge I acquire doesn't seem to have any immediate clinical applications. What do you think would be my solution through the fellowship? Yes, you are right. Partly. And you are right in this thought. This is not a course where we will tell you to invest in thousands and lakhs to open a molecular biology lab inside your clinic so that you start earning after doing some additional techniques. For example, you take up any uh, good dental implant course or a course similar to that which teaches you techniques. Well, it will cost you around any way between 1.5 to 2 lakhs of Indian rupees to learn. For implementing, to earn, you need to invest a couple of more thousands before even you begin to earn. And along with that are the associated risks, complications, handling them, and of an obvious risk as a beginner clinician. Well, that is an obvious add-on. Do you agree? What if I tell you that you can create an extra stream of income 
and add revenue to your existing practice just by convincing your relevant patient for getting a genomic test done from saliva or dental stem cells and with no risks and complications to be handled. Moreover, you can create an exclusive branding and thus you cut through the competition of the existing practices around you. Sounds like a crazy deal? Well, this is the kind of stuff that we will be covering in one of the modules inside the fellowship. So, will this knowledge empower you? Think. Let's move on and see the fourth situation or weakness where we, we will see whether this fellowship will help or not. Well, I am a UG student or I have just completed graduation. The course seems to be for more experienced people. If anyone in the crowd is an undergraduate student or a fresher or zero to one year experience, let me tell you, you are at a good place because then you are a modeling clay. You don't have to go through the grind much of unlearning and relearning. You just need to learn how to implement because this program will cover aspects from giving you strategies and show you several pathways, one of which you can choose to follow to keep moving forward and curve your own career pathway. We will touch subtle things like right from methods to apply for higher studies, exciting scholarship opportunities, how to choose the right career direction, where to search a relevant job or understanding what skills you acquire or you should acquire that exactly the industry needs, even how to write an email to approach someone for a job request or proposal. We got you covered with all and more inside this fellowship program. Let's move on. So here we are removing each of the weaknesses. The fifth situation or the fifth weakness could be like this. I am already inside an academic career. I am doing well. I have done quite a lot of research and have published a good number. This course doesn't seem to add much to my career growth. Here, I have to tell you three things at three different levels. See, what do you need to go up high in the ladder as an early career academician? More projects, more grants, funding, right? And as a mid-career academician, perhaps more collaborations at the international level, industry level, and so on. And if you are at your late career in academics, have you thought what will you do after you retire from your present chair? Or maybe you want to start your own startup? Well, whichever career level you are at present, do you know how the industry consultancy works? Do you know that using your knowledge, how you can add wealth to your bank account? Do you know what is the current rate of hiring a freelancer in research industry? Do you know how the industry norm runs? Well, if these questions have tri triggered a bulb on moment for you, then you are at the right place today listening to me here. Now, this fellowship gives you a solution. It will give you a blueprint of how to use your power of knowledge to earn from the existing needs of the industry, irrespective of whatever academic career level you belong at present. And there is a lot more inside. Now, here is a question for all of you. You might be a part of many job portals. You might have seen jobs getting posted. You might have also noticed that there are hundreds of applicants who have already applied for the same. Well then, have you ever thought, in spite of so many applicants, why do still you see this job as open? Because it doesn't depend on the number of applicants or their academic qualifications on paper. 
that particular employer from the industry is still searching someone who will be relevant to their particular needs. So there is a lot of scope out there for well-informed and qualified people because this crisis is the biggest pain point existing in the industry. So this fellowship has all the elements to train you for the same. The last weakness could be the fellowship fees. Paying the fees at once looks like, you know, quite difficult for some people. Before I tell you the amount and payment methodology, let me be very clear, honest and loud to you, all of you. The first thing we believe here is quality and not quantity. So seats are limited. And my dear colleagues, this is not a marketing gimmick that I am trying to throw to you for grabbing sales because we want to give you a personalized experience. We want to give you 100% satisfaction and we intend to serve you best with the knowledge and networking facilities at our best capability when you are inside the course. This is also not a typical sales webinar where I will tell you an amount for the course and give you some ticking clocks to say that I'm providing so and so discount an incredible offer only for 15 minutes and you should pay now. No, this orientation program is nothing of those sort. For the present batch, we have only very few seats left. So just decide a little faster when it comes to enrolling inside the course. So here is the solution for the, the payment of fellowship. You can pay in six interest-free easy installment. You can book your seat today with the nominal amount and pay the balance in easy installment. Inside, there is no charges. There is no upsell. You will not get any message or email which says, Okay, can you please click on this and pay and so and so and you get an upgrade. There is nothing like this. So here is the details of the payment. In INR, it will cost you rupees 45,000 plus 18% GST. That is equivalent to rupees 53,100. For international candidates, it is 699 uh, USD. To make things easier, you can book your seat today or by July 31st by paying a nominal booking fees of Rs. 3,100 or 50 USD right here. I'll request my team to post in the chat box the payment links which you can click and you can pay by any mode, card or UPI, credit card, debit card, anything. The remaining balance you can pay in six interest-free easy installments starting from August 22 till January 23. We will guide you in every step. Hope I could justify that this fellowship program has zero weaknesses and there is no threat. This is our accreditation from the American Council of Training and Development. I think that gives you a little bit more strength. Let me now quickly take you through the, each module of the program, subjects that you will learn and objective or aim of each module. So what is this program about? What is this fellowship program all about? It is a dual benefit course covering all aspects of clinical research plus gaining technical know-how for the practical applications of the knowledge, including learning the principles of collaboration, grant application, and steps to make a career in oral healthcare research industry, for example, biotech, pharma, genomic clinical research, etc., as well as opportunities to upgrade your existing clinical practice by providing genetic testing services. The objective of this course is basically to bridge the existing gaps in the fields of clinical research academics and industry. So let me start with the modules. So module one would be covering on basic genetics. What you will learn in this module, 
The basic concepts and principles of genetics, molecular biology, dental stem cells, cellular signal transduction, and gene therapy applications will be shared with you. The objective of this model is to help you to get an overall and simplified understanding of the basic concepts of genetic sciences and its applications in disease diagnosis and treatment. Basically, this module aims to build a strong foundation of important concepts of basic sciences that will help you to move ahead to get a clear picture of complex pathophysiology under oral and medical diseases. Module two would be on tools and techniques for interdisciplinary research. Subjects that we will be covering in the module is about the basic concepts and principles of commonly used molecular biology and genetic technologies used in biological and medical research. The objective is to help you to get an overall and simplified understanding of the basic principles of molecular biology and genomic technologies and their applications in disease diagnosis, monitoring, and prognosis. This module aims to build a strong foundation of technical knowledge that will help you to move ahead to create your own research design and applications of genetic technologies and genetic testings in routine clinical practice. Module three would be on fundamentals of clinical research and evidence-based clinical practice. Here, we will be covering an overview about the guidelines on principles of good clinical practice, basics of conducting clinical trials, different types of research studies, and application of these concepts in research setting and clinical practice. The objective is to help you in performing and monitoring clinical trials along with data management and making you industry competent. This module also aims at training participants in designing and conducting high quality research independently. Thorough understanding of this module will make you proficient in understanding the job profiles which comes along um, profiles of jobs like clinical research organizations as clinical research associate, medical writer, clinical research data specialist, clinical research coordinator, clinical project manager, and so on and so forth. Module four will be covering the art of research proposal and certified scientific writing, it's a real art. So in this module, you will learn basic principles of writing a research proposal, detailed understanding of the format of research proposals for your thesis, or asking funds, for example, proposal for academic research, proposal for applying to higher studies in abroad, proposals for a business pitch or product development, etc., and basic concepts of scientific writing and publishing. Objective, this module will help you to get an overall understanding of the techniques of structuring and writing different kinds of research proposal, either for thesis, for higher study applications to foreign universities or business pitch, as well as basic concepts of scientific writing and publishing in scientific journals. This module aims to build a strong foundation of technical knowledge that will equip you to independently create and format your own research proposal and write scientific papers. Coming to the fifth module, it is a very important one. It will, it is, it will be on oral healthcare research career pathway blueprint. In this module, you will learn basic principles of job searching in the research industry, steps towards applying to universities for higher studies, etiquettes of networking, etiquettes of writing an email to a professional, strategies to modify your LinkedIn profile for job search, overview to start a dental startup, principles of excelling the hierarchy in your present academic career, overview on different types of industry who hire, basic interview etiquettes and answering tricky questions in an interview. Objective of this module is to help you to get a step-by-step -step guidance to achieve a dream career path in oral healthcare research industry. This module aims you to give you an exposure to various possibilities of new career opportunities that lies out there in the research industry as well as equip 
you with strategies and knowledge to decide independently and choose the best career pathway. Module 6. Module 6 is on principles of research collaboration and funding overview. In this module, you will learn about different types of research collaboration, how to choose a collaborator, how to make a high impact international research collaboration, postdoctoral collaborations, and where, why, and how of research funding and grant applications. Objective of this module is to serve as a general guideline for external collaboration, regardless of your institutional affiliation, research area, or research tradition and strengthen your thought process for independent decision making. Apart from this, we will also have two bonus modules on medical regulatory affairs and saliva research and diagnostics. So I hope you understand this is a very, very comprehensive course for that matter. Let me also tell you how the assessment process will go on inside this course. So all assessments are 100% online. Each module will be followed by an online internal assessment of MCQ-based questions of 20 marks. Marks obtained in each of these internal assessments will be counted for the final exam. And the final exam would be conducted online out of 60 marks, MCQ pattern of uh, 50 marks and VIVA of 10 marks. The total score will be calculated out of 200 marks, including internal assessments, final exam, project assignments, and viva voce. So six internal assessments of 120 marks, final exam, 50 marks, viva voce, 10 marks, project assignments, 20 marks. The dates of exams and other relevant details will be announced as and when we progress inside the course. And as a candidate inside the course, you will be informed well ahead of the time. Here are a few details about the certification. So after the program, after the final examination, the candidate will be provided with an evaluation form from SCDT USA for accreditation application. Instructions will be provided for the application. Once you apply, the course completion certificate will be shared through email after approval from SCTD USA within five to seven working days. Well. To close this session, here are a few thoughts that you must consider at this new era of science. Do you think that a dentist in the future would be a custodian of people's overall health in terms of predicting diseases and maintaining wellness? As a dentist or life science professional, are you aware of the hidden gold mine of knowledge that lies within the patient's saliva, breath, oral microbes, teeth, and gums that can be used to diagnose lifestyle diseases, infectious diseases like COVID, terminal diseases like cancer, as well as maintain wellness? Are you someone who wants to venture into areas and innovate new modalities to improve your patient's quality of life? If you have answered yes to anyone or all of the above, then you are at the right place. So please join the fellowship program, Fellowship in Dental Genetics and Clinical Research to become the generation next dentist and lifestyle and life science professional. A little bit about our company so that you are confirmed with whom you are engaging if you don't know us. So we are working two branches. One is our education and training plus research consultancy branch. And that comes under Indian Academy for Clinical and Dental Genetics. And we are thriving since 2016. We also have another part of services which comes under digital marketing, particularly content marketing for life science and dental businesses as well as we have a specialized online course creation income system, particularly for women in STEM and healthcare. So Croynas is our company, and that's dedicated to my dad, which reads as Dr. Kamalesh Roy, Research and Diagnostics Private Limited. That's our website, www.genden.com. Please do visit whenever you are free and you get some time. 
Thank you so much for your undivided attention. And perhaps I will see you again inside the fellowship in dental genetics and clinical research program.